100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. In the previous exercise, we saw how a loop could be used to allow the user to enter a list of fixed length, five in that case. But now we're going to look at how we could go about allowing the user to enter a list of any number of items. Open Project 37, which contains an amended version of the program completed in Exercise 36, and immediately save it as Project 37 SOL. This program contains an incomplete attempt to allow the user to enter any number of instrument numbers. The intention is that the user will signal that they have finished entering their instrument numbers by entering an uppercase or lowercase Q for quit. Run the program several times, observing the list watcher on the stage. What's wrong here? Try to fix the program. One way to do this is to place an IF block in a suitable position within the repeat until blocks jaws. Save and run your program, checking that it works as required. So the problem was that the user's end of input signal, Q in upper or lower case, is added to the end of the list and treated as if it were an instrument number. One way to fix this is to check the user's input before it is added to the list. So an IF block can be used for this as shown here. If you have time, you might like to experiment by including some more blocks from the sound palette between your repeat blocks jaws to compose some more interesting tunes. An alternative that may have occurred to you is to alter the order of the blocks within the repeat until blocks jaws so that the user input is checked by the repeat until blocks boolean condition immediately before it's added to the list. This requires the use of another pop-up and get input block prior to the repeat until block to get the user's first item as shown here. The completed program for this exercise can be found as Project 37 completed. Once a collection of data has been entered into a list, there are many ways that it can be processed. Some examples include carrying out a simple identical transformation on each item. Transformation is the process of manipulating one piece of data so as to produce another, for example, performing a calculation on a number. In the next video, we're going to look at a few of these list processing activities. Very often, as we'll soon see, the processing requires some form of looping over the list items.